Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we're gonna start module number five about the information system security. This module is mostly uh, related about the database security that how the database uh, can be made secure. Initially we will discuss that what is a database and what are the different elements of the database and then we need to see that which database is more secure and which is less secure. Some of the example of databases as we came to know are like uh, Axis you might have used with the office uh, just like Oracle is the mother of all the databases, Microsoft SQL Server, DB2, MySQL, and there are a lot of examples of other databases. There are semi-structured databases as well, just like XML as well. So there are different security concerns about the databases. So what is the, what the outline of this uh, slide of this presentation is about the uh, database security and privacy. So we will start with the introduction of the database and then uh, security requirements, what are the different requirements for security, sensitive data and inference, that how we can infer the, uh, the, uh, the sensitive data, multi-level security databases, that how the security can be implemented at the different levels of databases, and then at the end with the data mining, uh, data mining uh, approaches. If we introduce, I think, uh, if we see about the databases, since the database is a prerequisite for this course, so we hope that most of the things will be uh, will be uh, very obvious for all of the students. Just like what is a database? Database is a collection of data or a set of rules that organize the data by specifying certain relationship among the data. So it's a kind of a structure, curable collection of the data or records. Mm, the elements means the fields of that. Uh, uh, fields of the records or schema means the logical structure of database is called a schema and set by the database administrator mm, and then we have a DBMS is database management system provides support for queries and uh, management so DBMS stand for database management system and then we have the most popular uh, based on relational model in the relational model there is a uh, there is a relation between the primary key and the foreign key that's why we it is, is it is referred as a relational model and things are stored in the form of a uh, in, in the form of a rows and columns tuples are referred to as rows and attribute are referred as a data as a, as a fields and columns of a, of a table individual tables can have a relationship between them because well, there can be uh, there, there can be one or many tables linked with each other through the uh, through the foreign key. Now we are we there are what are the dis, what are the advantages of databases? I um, mean sharing access of the information, minimal redundancy means minimum repetition of the data, data consistency means the data is consistent between different uh, the different what we call it. Uh, so data consistency means like the data is consistent. So the data consistency means the data should be remain same if there is any ablation, insertion and deletion. And uh, next one is the data integrity that data must be correct in case of any uh, external uh, in, uh, external like uh, changes or internal changes. And control access. Control access means that uh, if there are many users in a parallel, so there should be some concurrency control mechanism in that one. So these are the different advantages of databases. Our main focus is uh, not the advantages and the databases. Our main focus is the uh, security. These are the different examples of uh, database schema that how the database looks like and what are the different schemas. Like for example, this, these are the, one, the two tables you can see over here about the uh, name airport, their first name, last name, addresses, city, state, zip, airport. Mm, this is the, uh, the schema. And the next one is the sub schema. Uh, that how it looks like. Huh? These are the relation database relations and how it looks. So uh, these are the different example of the relation. So a relation is a uh, you can you can uh, say the, the table. So a relation is a set of columns. Queries uh, queries is a command. Okay, in SQL uh, in SQL scientific that how you can retrieve different attributes or uh, or different records of a, of any uh, databases. These are the different examples like select name, Adam from name airport, or you can specify more like zip number, or you can uh, you can count some you can put some function. These are the different function. You can count the names of the people by using this function, and you can put some condition in the where clause. So there are different clause like select from where, group by, having, 
and a uh, lot of uh, alter as well create different clauses are there for the SQL now we this is our main business the security requirements what are, what are the different security requirements for the databases we can see on here um, physical database integrity is uh, the most important that important that how the database physically should be uh, secure and uh, the corruption in that in the database should not be done physically um, through any whether it's malicious or not malicious uh, logical database integrity that logically uh, the connection of all the databases should be uniform and consistent and integrity must be preserved um, element integrity means like uh, the field integrity or any the the cell cell of an attribute integrity is the important thing and then refreshing integrity is more concerned about the foreign key uh, uh, for foreign key implementation in a in a in a in a tr in the transmitting table or in a in another table uh, which will migrate from the from the one table to another table and another another thing is important thing, thing is the auditability there are two kind of auditing one is the operating system auditing and another is called the database auditing so database auditing they keep the logs of each and every transaction if there is any change if there is any insertion updation deletion there is a log file created for that one and you can track back or you can take the backups and you can and you can uh, go back go back to your previous stage as well next one is access control man means that who will be allowed to give access to uh, different tables databases or different views as well okay so there can be some guest user there can be some admin user and yeah, there can be some uh, uh, backup user power user another one the user uh, authentication okay uh, so the user authentication is mostly based upon the, for the person that which person should be given the uh, uh, what you call the access okay while the access control is for the object means uh, which object should be uh, accessed for example there is a table there is a file okay so what what uh, rights they have what are the different privileges they have like read access write access and uh, execute access and while the user authentication is about the most about related to the user so the access control is mostly comes in authorization and the user authentication comes with respect to the uh, people uh, credential and privileges next thing is availability availability means that if your database is not available to the people 24 slash 7 so it means that there is a problem in your in, uh, in, in your databases and uh, means uh, the sec there is security problem okay it means that you want to make the your database available to the public but your your database is not available 24 slash 7 to the public so it means that there is some security risk whether it has been hacked or it has been uh, stopped or it has been haunted or it has been uh, like um, and there is a man in the middle for that one okay so availability is, is the most important attribute for the security so as we know as we know that in the initial chapter we talk about like cia confidentiality integrity and availability so availability is also uh, is most important factor of the of the security now we have the database integrity okay or what what do you mean by database integrity it can be a logical and physical integrity data must be protected from corruption yes of course whether it's a physical or it's a logical uh, protect, uh, protection against the database corruption allows only authorized individuals to perform updates of course yeah only the authorized uh, people should should be should be allowed to make changes in it like insertion updation deletion or reco recover from physical problems it can be physical problems can be power off or power failure or disk crashes okay mm, so uh, the physical pro problem should also be avoided and the logical as well perform periodic backups backups are important so that in case of any corruption or, or power failure or disk crashes the backup must be there over there and then keep log of transaction to reply transactions since last backup that you must have a uh, keep log of the transaction that which transaction was performed at what specific time and what was the result whether it was rolled back or it was commit if it is commit that's fine if it is rolled back so you must know about that one and you must be able to go back to some previous stage for example if you want to uh, withdraw all your transaction from today since two days ago okay at 2 p.m for example two days ago at 2 p.m so you must have the log and then you can instruct the oracle dbms and it can in, in, in it, it can alter all your transaction till two days ago till 2 p.m so this kind of uh, uh, physical problem should be recovered so th this is called the database integrity element integrity element integrity is mostly concerned about the uh, field of an uh, attribute or the specific cell integrity that it should be not corrupted or it should not be uh, violated 
uh, ensure correctness and accuracy of database elements this corrective uh, action can be taken in three ways okay what are the different three ways like element check to validate uh, correctness that how it is um, correct element must be for example you can check the specific cell of a of a of a table for example you can check which is numeric or not or whether is a specific a particular range or not for example if you want to uh, put the salary five digits so the it should be uh, the, the range is five okay and the value is numerical you cannot put a b c or you cannot put more than five uh, digits in that range no uh, to save your memory and to, to uh, and to be a specific according to your uh, to, your, to your constraint not more than one employee can be a president okay so for example this is one another constraint helps against mistake by authorized user even it helps uh, even the authorized user the admin or any user who who's mm, uh, for whom the tables belongs to they are sometime be corrected with respect to the field integrity or element integrity uh, typically enforced by triggers triggers keep track of all these things procedure triggers are the procedure or the function that auto automatically executes after events there are three basic events like insert update and delete so triggers are uh, initiated with the, with the result of the insert delete and update in a specific table access control to limit who can update elements like uh, uh, access control tells you that uh, you are allowed to read privileges or you have the right privileges or you have a update uh, read write or uh, modify or execute privileges you have so access control to limit who can update the element specific uh, cell of an uh, table uh, maintaining a change log for a database to uh, undo erroneous changes for example we say that uh, maintaining a change log so if there's any change there should be a log for it there should be a history for it for the database to undo some erroneous changes it means there is a, if there is erroneous means if there is some error or there is some uh, mistakes so how you can undo the changes so the logs are important thing so these logs are yeah, i just want to pinpoint it these logs are a very important thing a change log lists every change made to the database with both original and modified values. So the log contains the new values as well as the both values. For example, if you change the salary of an employee from uh, from uh, from twenty thousand to twenty five thousand, so it means that you need you you must have the both values. Before the change, uh, the log should contain that twenty thousand the salary of an employee is twenty thousand, and after the change is twenty five thousand. So both values are there. If you want to undo it, so the uh, the old salary will come to the employee so this these logs are very important to achieve your previous stages or you can you can you can go some more previous stages as well according to your log time and details okay this is a referential integrity is mostly about your foreign key that how your foreign key is implemented each table has a primary key yes we know that one it's very obvious uh, minimum set of attributes that uniquely identifies each tuple. Yeah, okay. Because of primary key, you can access all the attributes. For example, like national ID. Usually, we keep national ID as a as a primary key, student number, or employee number, etc. A table might also have a foreign key. Yes, equal to foreign key to link to another table, or multiple foreign keys which are primary keys in some other tables. Okay, so one table can five. We have five tables, so in the five tables, we can have a four foreign keys. Okay, for each table. Differential integrity ensures that there are no dangling uh, foreign keys. Dangling means like a not linked. It means sometimes you have a useless foreign keys in a, in, a, in a table, so you should remove that uh, useless foreign keys. So uh, when while removing the useless foreign keys, that is called the differential integrity, and this also comes under the security aspects. So we will continue uh, for the next one. Uh, till now, uh, till now. So this is enough for today. Uh, we in the in the in the second part we will see the different aspects of database security